Okay, now we are solving logarithmic equations, equations that have logs in them. Just like with exponential equations, we'll have two different types, honestly for the same reasons. Our first type, what I like to call the easy type, is when everybody's a log, every single thing in the equation is a log, then it's possible to squish all your logs together and rewrite your equation so you have log base b of one thing equals log base b, same base, has to be the same base, equals something else. If you have this, if you have log equals log, the only way that's possible is if the insides are in fact equal, because the log is a one-to-one -one function. Another way to think of it is you're raising both sides or making both sides exponents of the exponential b, and then the insides must be equal. So if for example, I had log base 6 of x plus 2 is log same base of 5. You can, in a sense, cancel out the logs and say x plus 2 equals 5, which means x equals 3. Now, logs have domain issues. You can never have log any base, I don't care what your base is, of zero, or log any base of a negative number. I don't care if x is zero or negative or whatever, what's inside the log cannot be zero or negative. So we must always check answers and make sure that they fit in the domain of all of our logs. And you can just do this in your head. If I plug in x equals 3 here, on the left, 3 plus 2 is 5. I'm allowed to take log of 5, no issues. That's what we're checking. Okay, another example. Let's take it up a notch here. Say I have this complicated looking log equation. Your instinct is just to go through and cancel out all the logs. You can't do that. I need this to look like. I want log base 4 of some stuff equals log same base 4 of some other junk. I need to squish these logs together. I need a single log on one side equals a single log on the other side. So I have to use the rules of logs to combine logs together. I need these combined together. We call that collapsing logs. So added outside will become multiplied inside and we'll get log base 4 of x minus 3 times x plus 3 equals log base 4 of 16. And I know right now you're thinking, wait a minute, we know log base 4 of 16. That's just 2. 4 squared is 16. But we're not going to simplify this because now we've got what we want. We've got log of stuff equals log of stuff. Now we can set the insides equal. I can say x minus 3, x plus 3 equals 16. Inside equals inside. That's a quadratic equation. It's a good thing we know how to solve every quadratic equation ever. Of course, 99% of the time, if we get a quadratic here, it's going to be something pretty easy to solve. If you find yourself using quadratic formula here, yeah, maybe in the real world you might have to do that, but in a college algebra class, these are bad enough to begin with. This should be pretty easy to solve. We should not need quadratic formula. Okay, so let's foil out here. That's just difference of squares formula. We're going to get x squared minus 9 equals 16, which means x squared is 25, so x is plus or minus 5. If you've got trouble there, you really need to go back and look at quadratics. Now, I need to check and see if these answers are even allowed. Must check. And by allowed, I don't mean you, ha you really should get out your calculator, check, and make sure the answers work. But I'm saying we have to check if these answers are allowed. 
meaning no negatives, no zeros, after I plug them in. So let's check x equals 5. We just do this locally. 5 minus 3 is 2. I'm allowed to do log of 2. 5 plus 3 is 8. I'm allowed to do log of 8. No problems. 6 did nothing to check here. X equals 5 is good. What about negative 5? I don't care that X is negative. What I care is, say, when I plug in here, negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. I can't take log of a negative. Same here. Doesn't matter. Once it's bad, it's bad. If it's bad in any of them, it's bad. Negative 5 minus 3 would be negative 8. You can't take log of base 4 of negative 8 x equals negative 5 is no good. So that guy's just gone. Our only solution is x equals 5. Okay. Let's look at another one. First thing we notice is everybody's a log. This is like those exponential equations when we could use the same base on both sides. Everybody's a log. My goal is to get log one single log equals one single log. So I have multiplied or added outside on the left. That will become multiplied inside. I'm getting, I, I got a couple of choices here. I'm going to clean that out. 2x times 3x, of course is 6x squared. Now I have log equals log. One single log equals one single log. Now I can set the insides equal. 6x squared equals 24. Divide by 6. x squared equals 4. x is plus or minus 2. Again, I have to check and see if I'm allowed to use these numbers. Checking to make sure I don't try to take the log of 0 or log of a negative. So if I plug in positive 2, I get log of 4, log of 6. Those are both okay. Notice, by the way, 4 times 6 does equal 24. Positive 2 is good. Negative, right here, 2 times negative 2 would be negative 4. I cannot take log of negative 4. That negative 1 is no good, I just get x equals 2. Okay, now it's not always possible or easy to have everybody as a log. This is a different kind of equation now. That guy's not a log. Let's make a note here. If you have anybody in your equation, one single term that is not a log, your goal here is to get. The equation in the form log base b of stuff equals a number and then convert to exponential form. Convert to exponential form. Convert to exponential form. That's our goal. In order to get that, I need one single log equals a number. So I have to squish these logs together. Again, added outside becomes multiplied inside. So I'll get log base 2 of x times x minus 2 equals 3. Now I have exactly what I wanted. Log, one single log equals a number. Now I convert to exponential form. 2 raised to the third power, remember the answer to a log is the missing exponent, equals what was inside. If that seemed like magic to you, you need to go back and review converting to exponential form, properties of logs. The base raised to this number equals whatever is inside the law. That looks complicated, but it's really, really not. That's just a quadratic. 2 to the third is 8. Let's distribute 
over here. We've got x squared minus 2x. That's a quadratic. I know it's going to factor because 99% of these quadratics will factor. So I'm going to get everything on one side. And that factors. I think that's x minus 4, x plus 2 equals 0. So we get two solutions. Quadratics always have two solutions. 4 and negative 2. Don't just assume the positive one works and the negative one doesn't. I could easily change this problem so that that one works. I don't care if x is positive or negative. I care if what's inside the logs is positive, negative, or 0. So if we try 4. I can do log base 2 of 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. I mean, we could even check that. Like That we should be able to do in our head. If I plug in a 4, log base 2 of 4 is 2. Plug it in a 4, 2 minus 2 is 2. Log base 2 of 2 is 1. 2 plus 1 equals 3. Like Not only did I check it's allowed, I checked that it works. Plugging in a negative 2. And we really want to emphasize it. Don't care that it's x that's negative. The problem is that I'll be taking log of a negative. Negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. We're done. Clearly, it's also bad right there. Log base 2 of negative 2, not allowed. Okay, so if everybody's a log, then we can squish our logs together, set the insides equal. If anything is not a log, Get all these logs together into a, <coughs> a single log, then convert to exponential form. Here's another example like that. He's not a log. I'm going to convert to exponential form. Okay, uh, you might be confused right now. Wait a minute, what's the base? Well, then you didn't watch all the videos, and remember that if you don't see a base, it's common log, my base is 10. So this is that second type. I've got somebody that's not a log. I'm going to convert to exponential form. The base raised to this exponent equals whatever is inside. 10 to the fourth power is just a one followed by four zeros. So 10,000 equals x divided by 12. Trying to get the x by itself, so multiply over and we get x is 12, 120, I think, right? 120,000? Yeah. And we should check and make sure that's allowed. 120,000 divided by 12 is 10,000. We're allowed to take log of 10,000. Okay, that is solving logarithmic equations. Those take a lot of practice, so make sure you practice those. Right now, other relevant videos should be popping up. Click on those for more problems.